All right, the first one is you deserve to get promotion. You deserve to get promotion. So here we use you deserve to. Okay? And it is the past form. It's talking about the past. They deserve to have a better life. They deserve to have a better life. To have a better life. Okay, so we change the subject. You deserve to have a better lifestyle. You deserve to have a better lifestyle. A better lifestyle. She deserves to get that job. She deserves to get that job. Okay, so this is the first pattern. This is the first structure. We can use this to make hundreds, thousands of sentences, okay? Just practice. Just repeat after me, guys. I shouldn't have married him. So it's different. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. It's talking about regrets. When you're regretful for something you've done in the past. You use this. I shouldn't have married him. You shouldn't have told her the truth. You shouldn't have told her the truth. We don't say told her. It is told her. You shouldn't have told her the truth. Okay. What is the next one? They shouldn't have worked so hard. They shouldn't have work, worked so hard. They shouldn't have worked so hard. He shouldn't have smoked in front of his father. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. He shouldn't have smoked in front of his father. So don't smoke in front of your parents, guys. <laughs> it's, it's very dangerous. You might be really into trouble. He shouldn't have smoked in front of his father. What is the next one? What if? What if, for example, what if they don't hire me? What if they don't hire me? It's, it's, it is used when you're worried about something, usually, okay? The next one is, what if she doesn't call me? What if she doesn't call me, okay? What if she doesn't call me? You, you want a new girlfriend, but you're worried about it. So you might say, what if she doesn't call me? What if she doesn't text me? What if she doesn't like it? What if she doesn't like it? You're worried about a gift you bought for your, um, for example, one of your uh, family member's birthday, and you're worried about it. What if she doesn't like it? You're not sure if she or he likes it. So what if she doesn't like it? What if nobody agrees with me? What if nobody agrees with me? Okay, so what if? What if is very useful. Don't forget to write it down. Write them down, guys. These patterns are very useful. Just write them in your notebook and practice. Make sentences. Make more sentences, okay? You can make hundreds of sentences with each pattern. Don't, don't, don't. Just listen. Don't just watch the video. Okay? Practice. Practice makes perfect. Don't forget that, guys. Are you in the mood to work out? Are you in the mood to work out? It means exercise. Are you in the mood? I'm not in the mood to go out. I'm not in the mood to go out. Are you in the mood to work today? Are you in the mood to work today? Are you in the mood to study English? Are you in the mood to study English? See, I don't say to a study. It is to study. To study. So, it is to study. You have to link the words. Are you in the mood to study English? It's unlike you. It's unlike you to get upset. It's unlike you to get upset. Or it's unlike you to get angry. 
You're actually very nice, unlike your sister. So, in this part, we are learning the use of unlike. Okay, so, like the first one, it's unlike you to get upset. You're actually very nice, unlike your sister. It means your sister isn't very nice, but you're very nice. You're actually very nice, unlike your sister. Unlike you, I'm not a great dancer. Unlike you, I'm not a great teacher. Unlike you, I'm not a great mother. Okay, so this sentence is extremely useful, guys. Unlike you, I'm not a great something. It's unlike you to be quiet. Is something wrong? It's unlike you to be quiet. Is something wrong? The next one. How can I get to the bank? When you're looking for a place, okay, especially when you're on a trip, you're on vacation, and you're getting a dress or direction, you can use this pattern. It's very useful, guys. It's very helpful. How can I get to the bank? How can I get to the post office? How can I get to the supermarket? All right. How can I get to the museum? So just put the words here. Do you know how I can get to the bank? So in this sentences, we change, we change the place of can and I. Okay. The first one was how can I? But this is how I can because we added. Do you know? Do you know how I can get to the bank? No one knows how I can get to the beach. No one knows how I can get to the beach. I wish someone knew how I can get there. I wish someone knew how I can how I can get there. I didn't mean to disrespect. Disrespect. It is the opposite of respect. Okay? When you're kind to someone. Respect him. Respecting him. Okay? But disrespect. It means to be rude. To be rude towards someone. I didn't mean to disrespect. It means I didn't want. I didn't want. I didn't mean to disrespect. Or, I didn't mean to be rude. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. I don't mean to pry, but how did you do that? I don't mean to pry, but how did you do that? It means, I don't mean to pry. It means, actually, um, I, I, don't, I, I don't want to, let's say, interfere. I don't want to um, know something that you don't want, I know, okay? I don't want to uh, be somehow nosy, nosy, okay? I don't mean to pry, but how did you do that? I didn't mean to get pregnant. <laughs> it happens sometimes, actually. So be careful, guys. Um, I didn't mean to get pregnant. I didn't want. I didn't mean. Who do you live with? Who do you live with? Who do you live with? Who do you work with? Who do you work with? Who do you travel with? Who do you travel with? And who do you go shopping with? Who do you go shopping with? Mm -hmm. This structure is extremely useful in everyday life. Who do you live with? Who do you work with? Who do you travel with? Who do you go shopping with? Okay. Uh, the next one is, I bet. I bet we are lost. I bet we are lost. Or, 
I bet we won't get there on time. I bet we won't get there on time. It means I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, I'm surely. I'm surely saying that. I bet we won't get there on time. I bet it will rain soon. I bet it will rain soon. So we use it based on evidence that something might happen. I bet it will rain soon. So you look at the sky, okay? You look at the sky and you see some clouds, black clouds, and um, you might say, I bet it will rain soon. I bet they won't agree. I bet they won't agree. Are you into? It means, are you interested in? Do you like? Are you into horror movies? Are you into horror movies? Or are you into photography? Are you into photography? Oh, I'm really into photography, guys. I really like taking photos and, you know, from nature, from people, uh, of everything. It's, it's very, it's very fine. It's great photography. It's one of my, let's say, interests. Are you into photography? Or is she into that guy? It means, does she love him? Is she into that guy? Why are you into this kind of shit? Why are you into this kind of shit? See, I don't say kind of shit. I don't say, I say kind of shit. Why are you into this kind of shit? It doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter who they are. It means I don't care. I don't give a shit. It doesn't matter how hard you work. It doesn't matter how hard you work. It doesn't matter how talented you are. It doesn't matter how talented you are. You have to practice. It doesn't matter how tra- talented you are. You need to work hard. You need to study more. You need to study hard. You need to practice. It doesn't matter what others think of you. It doesn't matter what others think of you. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you. It means I hate you. I'm fond of you. I'm fond of you. It means I love you. I'm hooked on you. I'm hooked on you. It means I love you so much. And uh, I'm cross with you. I'm cross with you. It means um, I'm not on a speaking terms with you. I don't want to talk to you. Okay. I'm cross with you. What is the next? Are you satisfied with something? Are you satisfied with your job? Okay, are you satisfied with your job? Or are you satisfied with your choice? Are you satisfied with your choice? I'm not satisfied with his answer. I'm not satisfied with his answer or His answer doesn't satisfy me. I'm not satisfied with this. We are not satisfied with the outcome of the experiment. We are not satisfied with the result, outcome of the experiment. I can't help. I can't help drinking coffee. I can't help drinking coffee it means i have to drink coffee i can't stop drinking coffee i can't help drinking coffee i can't help thinking about her i can't help thinking about her he's an addict he can't help smoking he's an addict he can't help smoking
I can help feeling sorry for the poor man. I can help feeling sorry for the poor man. There's no time to lose. There's no time to lose. There's no time to lose. It means we are out of time. We are running out of time. And there's no time to lose. There's no time to argue. There's no time to argue. There's no time for formality in everyday life. There's no time for formality in everyday life. There's no time for boyfriends. My career comes first. Or boys can say that. There's no time for girlfriends. My career comes first. My family comes first. My uh, education, my studies comes fa come first. Okay, so there's no time for boyfriends. My career comes first. My business comes first. Everything. There's no harm in tasting it. There's no harm in tasting it. There's no harm in asking. There's no harm in asking. There's no harm in dreaming dreams. There's no harm in dreaming dreams. There's no harm in trying. There's no harm in trying. I regret. I regret spending so much money on a car. I regret spending so much money on a car. It means I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have spent so much money on a car. I regret not studying harder. I regret not studying harder. I regret doing that. I regret doing that. I regret selling the house. I regret selling the house. Where were you going? Where were you going? Where were you going? What were you eating? What were you eating? Who were you talking to? Who were you talking to? What were you looking for? What were you looking for? Am I allowed? Am I allowed to park in here? Am I allowed to bring one of my friends? It means can I? Can I bring one of my friends? Am I allowed to bring one of my friends? Am I allowed to leave work early today? Am I allowed to leave work early today? Am I allowed to smoke cigarette here? Am I allowed to smoke cigarette here?